Hey everyone, my name is Erica and welcome to my scorpion tutorial. Yes, you can do this in one day. Just believe in yourself, you can do anything you set your mind to. Let's get started. We're gonna make some big, beautiful butterfly arm circles with our arms, so just swing them into big circles and really extend all the way through to get those muscles warmed up and all that good stuff. Let's ease our way into the straddle position with knees facing the ceiling and toes pointed. The trick to getting a really deep straddle is to walk your hands about 6 to 12 inches in front of your thighs and then just make small adjustments until your thighs are right up against your wrists. Now we're going to stay in the straddle position and just reach all the way over to one side. Try to put the side of your body to your knee and just reach for your toes. And we're going to repeat that drill on the other side. Remember to keep good posture and try to reach as far to the side as you can. Pike stretch with pointed feet and locked out legs and just reach all the way for your toes and try to put your nose to your knee. Sit on your knees and do the rock stretch. Very good for your arm and shoulder flexibility. Make sure you are sitting on your knees so that way you can get a thigh stretch at the same time. Now let's ease our way into the cobra position. So you just want to lie down on the ground and push all the way up like I am and think of yourself like a mermaid. Now some single leg stretches. This tutorial is for right leg scorpion standing on your right foot pulling your left. So if you want to learn it the other way around, make sure you do all these stretches in reverse. Super deep right leg lunges. Make sure you have really good posture. You're pushing all the way down on your thighs as far as you can go and your knees do not go past your toes. Fish hook lunge is what I like to call a bent leg lunge, sort of like the monkey pose, but you're in a lunge position. So just pull that back leg up like we did before in the cobra and just hold that for a few seconds. Now we're going to ease our way into our splits. Just really push down on your thighs to get a really good stretch there. Go down as far as you can and remember to keep good posture. I call this the herky stretch. We're going to make sure our foot is in line with our front leg and we're going to put a nice little bend in our back leg. Now we're going to ease our way into hurdler splits sort of like the hurdler jump in cheerleading. So you basically want to focus on pushing down on your thighs. You can flip your back foot up, make sure your toes pointed, and try to ease into the monkey pose if you can. Now lean backwards, think of yourself like a ballerina. Just go all the way back in your splits. It's okay if you can't get as low as I can, just do your best. Now stretch your arms across your body and try to pull it all the way towards your collarbone. Hold it on each side a few seconds. Now we'll do the tricep stretch. So just reach your arms over your head and get a really nice pull on each side for a few seconds. Now we're just going to do some basic back bend holds and just hold that for about 10 seconds. Now from back bend, just walk your feet out straight so your legs are perfectly locked out. Now walk your feet as close to your head as possible so you can get a really deep shoulder and back strip. Now for some really quick balance tips and drills. Do not bend your knees. Don't roll your ankles out. You want to have your foot firmly planted on the floor in place and lock your leg out so that way you can balance. Now warm up your scale. Try to pull it as high as you can. This will really help you with your scorpion. And if you want to get a straight leg, go watch my tutorial which I have a link below. There's a couple different ways to pull your scorpion. I recommend watching and trying all of them to see which one works best for you. Method number one is the Herky way. I call this the herky way because it kind of resembles the herky jump in the way you pull your leg. First, pull a lip. Keep your leg in that exact lip position, that exact same bend, and just flip it outwards. Stick your right arm as high in the air as you possibly can. 
Now loop your right arm over your head just like we did in the tricep stretch. Now use your left arm to pull your left foot towards your right hand. Great! Now try it on your own in real time. Method number two is the hurdler way where you fishtail your leg right behind you rather than pull it to the side. Stretch your right arm high in the air as you possibly can. Fishtail your left leg straight behind you and let it meet your left hand. Now pull your left foot as high as you possibly can straight behind you. And just like in the tricep stretch, reach your right arm straight behind you towards your left foot. To get your leg higher, find your balance and just pull your arms up straight like a touchdown. Great! Now try the hurdler method on your own in real time. Again, if you need to use the wall to balance, that's perfectly fine as long as you're getting the gist of the skill. Next method is the scale way, where you basically pull a scale and you let your arms meet your left foot. First, stick your right arm high in the air. You don't want to stick it out straight in front of you or it's going to be really hard to pull the scorpion. Now pull your scale as high as you possibly can. Ultimately, you want to try to get your foot higher than your head so that way you can easily pull the scorpion. Without adjusting our upper body, our leg, or our hip position, we're going to just slightly bend our left leg towards our head. And just gracefully loop your right arm towards your left foot. Now try this on your own in real time. If you want to get your scorpion even higher, the trick is to learn a straight leg scale and then try this method. Method 4 is the kick up way. I think this is a little harder than the other methods, but it is really good for getting momentum to get your leg higher. Keep your leg straight and point it and kick it right in front of you, perpendicular to your body. Swing your leg behind you really quickly and arch your arms into a swan-like position. Continue to kick your foot higher as you let your ankle meet your left hand. It's okay if your leg bends a little. As soon as you can, try to reach for your ankle with your right hand. Remember to maintain your balance by keeping your legs straight and everything square. Congratulations on your scorpion. I hope you had fun with this tutorial. I want to thank Giovanna from Confused Girl in the City for sending me these fabulous passion workout leggings that I was wearing in this video. They're inspired by the gold agate crystal. It's a beautiful gemstone and it represents creativity, intellect, and good luck. They're from the Healing Crystal Collection of USA made super stylish functional loungewear. The Healing Crystals actually represent yin and yang, creativity, courage, protection, and healing. This is a really inspiring quote from Giovanna about her brand. My brand is about healing and acceptance. In times of struggle and confusion, we embody strength. This strength allows the hidden treasure in the struggle to reveal itself. ConfusedGirlInTheCity.com has more of these leggings in different styles and there is a special promo code just for you guys to use. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for even more videos like this and leave requests at any time you like. Anyways, I'll see you later. Bye!